Hello Capricorn and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, let's see what is going on. Love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. Let's see. We have a secret admirer. I like to watch. I like what I see. I fantasize about you and me. I feel like this is you. You got your eye on someone. Right? I feel like you are the secret admirer here. All right. Let's pull some cards on this and see what's going on. This is for Capricorn. A few cards for you, a few cards for them, and then the outcome. Love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate <clears throat> with you at all, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Capricorn out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Let's see. Cool, calm, and collected. Keep it at professional. Okay. All right. So, wishing and hoping and praying and dreaming, right? So, you want what you want, what you want. Um, I feel like you are being very careful about this. I feel like you're being very cool, calm, keeping it light. You may work with this person for some of you or go to school with them for some of you. I don't think that they see you just yet because they are moving on from some sort of um, situation. They need a minute to heal, but they... they they won't let you get away, all right? It's almost like the moment you give up on this is the moment they're gonna come forward. So they've just been hurt. So just give them a minute, you know? You don't have to wait around. You can still live your life and still have your eye on this person and you know, they, they need to heal. It's like they're moving on from some sort of relationship somebody that they were intertwined with and they're kind of processing that and then here you are but they can't really they can't see they can't really see anybody at the moment so you want this right you're wishing for this and you're going to get what you want, but you're going to, it's not going to be the way that you expect. Nine of Cups. So the person that you've got your eye on is going through a huge shift in their life, a huge transformation. And they are, they're going to reemerge stronger, but they are very, you know, there's an ending to some sort of relationship that they're dealing with. They're moving forward. Um, they're moving on from this, but they still got some healing and transformation. Scorpio energy here. I feel like this is going to be a new beginning. It's going to be very real. But, and it is somebody that I see, this is like a, a blessing here. But it's a very delicate situation. And here's the thing. You cannot put your life on pause waiting for this person to um, heal from a past relationship. That's not fair to you. 
So you keep doing what you're doing, and what is it? you keep mo you keep moving forward. You keep you know doing your Capricorn thing. You're not going to sit on the couch and wonder why. Oh, why doesn't you know this person is out of their relationship? Why don't you know why can't we get it together? Why can't we have this new beginning right now? Um, and it's because they need an appropriate amount of time to heal and. You don't want to have to fix somebody. They need to fix themselves, right? So, and it's okay. It's okay to give them some space and time to heal. And you live your life. And they will come towards you. They will come towards you. This is a new beginning, but it's earth energy. You want it to, you want it to be built on a firm foundation, right? That earth energy. Right now, it can't be because their emotions are very focused on past and processing that. Very shaky ground. So right now, they're like, they still are dealing with a bit of an emotional roller coaster that they've been on. And you're over here like, are they into me? Are they not into you? They... I don't think they can handle anything too intense or too deep right now. They would literally talk about their ex and their divorce or whatever that they're doing constantly. And you would get pissed. So you're like, are they into me? Are they not into me? They are. It's just timing, timing, timing. So, two of pentacles. You don't want somebody to, that just talks about their ex constantly. Right? So, they need they need a minute to heal from this. And that's okay. We've all been there. So, you want movement. Right? You're cool, calm, and collected. But here's the thing. You can't... You cannot stand still. Alright? So, you got to keep it moving. So, cool, calm, and collected, very friendly, very light, very professional conversations. You're there. They know you're there. But they cannot, like, feel your true intention. They can't see anybody romantically right now, right? They can't. Not anything of depth and substance. You'll be dealing with an air sign. We got the Queen of Swords. We got the Six of Swords and we got the Page of Pentacles. So you, cool, calm, and collected, continue to move forward and live your life. And, you know, it's okay to be there for somebody, but it's, you don't have to be a therapist or anything like that. That's not fair to you either. And if you got into a relationship with this person, you would end up being their therapist. And that is not the role you want to play. So they're over here leaving behind a situation. And they are looking at the past and they can't really see any serious potential romantic interests right now. Um, you could be Four of Cups, you could be dealing with a Cancer. We got the Chariot here and then we've got the Two of Cups. So... They are going to move forward. They are going to have a victory over this. And it's like almost when you decide, you know what? I give up on this situation. I'm walking away. Um, it's just too much. I can't get through. They're so wounded and their walls are so high. This is when they're going to come towards you and reach out to you. And be like, okay, I'm ready now. So at that point... So we got the Five of Swords, we've got the Page of Cups, and we've got the Nine of Wands. So at that point, you know, you're going to have to decide if you are still available, Capricorn, you're going to have to decide if you still want to engage with this person in a romantic way. So... No waiting, though. We're not, there's no waiting. They they got to heal. You got to live your life. 
And if it's meant to be, it will be. They will come towards you in a romantic way. And there's an opportunity here, right? There is an opportunity here. And it is going to be presented to you. It's up to you if you want to take it, if you are still available when they, when they give you that offer. So love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. That Sorry if you can hear my neighbor's dog. Um, that is, I'm going to say lust for now. And then when this person comes towards you, then you're going to have to see what you want at that particular time. All right, Capricorn, that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Rumble. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. And God bless.